Let's talk about an affordable acoustic electric guitar from Gretsch. Today I'm going to show you the Gretsch Rancher Dreadnought in Sunburst. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support the channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. So this is, I'm going to tell you at the outset, a surprising review for me. Um, I've been wanting to review this guitar. I came to it with... Um, assumptions, yeah, assumptions that were proven wrong. So uh, I'll start with that. I'll, I'll come back to that at the end of the video. But this is a very cool, quirky, affordable acoustic electric guitar from Gretsch. It's part of the Rancher line, and this features the Dreadnought. Now, if you're not familiar with the line, there's about four body styles. You've got the Penguin, the Falcon, the Dreadnought, and the Jumbo. So this is the Dreadnought of the bunch. Big guitar, not as big as the Jumbo, fairly comfortable. Actually feels like a smaller Dreadnought than uh, a typical, uh, like Martin size Dreadnought would be. Um, and you know, it really plays pretty well. But one of the cool things about it is it looks very, very different. So sometimes in the sea of acoustic guitars that are out there, um, there's, there's a few things, particularly at this price point that you have to deal with. One, can you get a good solid top guitar with scallop bracing and a pickup for the price? Two, can you find something that has that feature uh, without a cutaway that's increasingly difficult to find? And three, can you find something that's a little bit different, that that is set apart from the rest of the guitars that maybe is a, a unique aesthetic that you can enjoy? And this guitar seeks to fill that need. If you just look at it, it's kind of got this, this cool motif that Gretsch is going with. So let's talk about it. So you've got a Dreadnought guitar. It features a solid spruce top with scalloped bracing. Uh, it's all done in this beautiful sunburst finish. Back and sides are layered or laminate mahogany with an arched back. So when you look inside, you won't see any bracing on the back of the guitar. That's because the arch that is pressed into it uh, provides it with all of the structural rigidity that it needs, and so it does not need bracing. Uh, Gretsch is not the only company to do this. Guild has done it for years, and I believe they were the first ones to do it. Taylor Guitars does it on all of their laminate guitars from uh, GS Mini on up, and I'm sure there are many others that do it because it makes a lot of sense. It might help with projection a bit, the jury's kind of out on that, uh, but it does mean that the guitar can be a little bit lighter because it doesn't have that internal bracing um, since that that uh, shape is pressed into it, something that you wouldn't be able to do on an all solid wood guitar. So there you go. Um, crisp white binding frames it, and it has uh, just kind of a wonderful, very cool look to it. Now, you might have noticed uh, a different shape here on the pickguard. This is their triangular shaped pickguard. I like to think that it looks like a pick, you know? So if you're going to drop your pick in the sound hole of the guitar, you might as well drop your pick in a pick shaped sound hole. There you go. Uh, tortoiseshell pickguard, a uh, laurel fingerboard and bridge. I will say the bridge is kind of chunky looking. If I had one thing I'd change on this, I might slim this down, but it's got a cool kind of unique design to it that continues to go really well with this aesthetic. Uh, coming up on the neck, again, you've got a laurel fretboard. It looks like ebony. It's not. Um, and they have these neo, they call them neoclassic uh, fret markers on the guitar. I, in the past, I always knew them as Chet style markers from Chet Atkins kind of thumb over the top of the guitar and on his Gretsch guitars back in the day. Neoclassic, what have you. Uh, we've got a kind of upside down horseshoe inlay up on the headstock along with the Gretsch logo and gold tuners. The tuners are fine. They're great. They're nothing to write home about, but they are certainly adequate and typical for this price point of a guitar. Now, should you want to amplify this guitar, it does have a preamp in the side of the guitar. It is a Fishman uh, preamp, which is pretty typical for most guitars in this price point. Fishman kind of rules the roost across the board. Um, so it's very typical. You've got your uh, built-in tuner, you've got volume, and then a uh, three band EQ with bass, treble, and mid having separate uh, controls on there. Now, one of the cool things about this guitar that you'll see on a lot of other Gretsch guitars are what I like to think of as nice little design choices. So the strap buttons 
uh, are up here on the upper bow and then down here at the end pin. Your electronics are down here so that your battery compartment is easy to get to and plugging in does not get in the way of the strap. It also does not make for a larger input jack like you've seen on some other guitars which makes it hard to put the strap onto the guitar at the bottom particularly. But, you know, sometimes getting the strap uh, connected can be difficult. And so what Gretsch has done, and they do this with their electric as well, is it basically has a built-in strap lock. It is threaded onto a post, and so you can take off the strap button, you can put your strap on, and then you can tighten it down, and you don't have to stretch out the leather or anything like that, and it's going to hold on very, very nicely. So all in all, a really, really great feature. And it's got a great big sound for it for a Dreadnought guitar. Uh, harkens back to some vintage tone. So I'm gonna play this for you. We're gonna go through a lot of the typical demo songs that I play so that you can compare it to other songs on the channel. Uh, but you know, put on your headphones or good speakers and take a listen for yourself. So there you have it. That is the review and the demo of the Gretsch Rancher Dreadnought guitar in Sunburst. I don't think I'd have this guitar in any other finish with the, you know, the different triangular shaped sound hole and the other choices. It really just works because the whole guitar really screams kind of vintage Americana. I mean, that's the Rancher name suits it very, very well. Um, and I think that's the kind of music that is well suited for this guitar. So let's talk about the assumptions going into this video and where I was surprised. I did not think I would like this guitar. Um, it's given the price point, I looked at the bridge, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of heavy looking. I really thought that it would be a dud. I was pleasantly surprised in, uh, in two different factors on this guitar. One, it played a lot better than I thought it would. When you review as many guitars as I do, you, uh, you tend to have an expectation. A $449 guitar is going to play like X. You know, I, I kind of come in expecting a certain setup, um, and this guitar 
really plays a lot better than I thought it would. Um, so kudos to Gretsch and their manufacturing process because we really just took this out of the case uh, or out of the box. It doesn't come with a case. Um, and, and, you know, started tuning it up to play. And I, so there's been no adjustments to it. And it played really, really well. I found it very easy to play. The other part is it, it doesn't have a lot of volume, um, but it sounds really, really good. And it, this is actually kind of a, a, a warning to you, a public service announcement. I've noticed over the years that a lot of people will equate volume with tone. If you hand them a guitar and the guitar is really loud, they'll go, oh, this sounds really good. And those aren't really the same things. Tone and amplitude are, are not the same thing. Now, a lot of times tone could mean that a guitar is very resonant, but sometimes it means it's just a really big guitar. Um, or it means it's a small guitar and you have a light touch, and so it's going to sound loud, and a big guitar with a light touch is going to sound quiet. So I tend to play with a fairly light touch, and I've, I've worked on that over the years to be less ham-fisted and play you know, more delicately and whatnot. And I thought this guitar responded very well. It's not the loudest guitar that I've played in this price point, but again, I do feel like it's a smaller size dreadnought than a lot of other dreadnoughts that are out there on the market. So you sacrifice a little bit of volume, but it's got a wonderful vintage aspect to the tone. It's got a rounded attack to it. It's got a very full, rich kind of blend to the chords. I really, really like it a lot for the tone that it has. So, you know, given that it's $449 current price, you can check our website for the latest pricing at alamomusic.com. Given that the setup and the sound that I really liked, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really like this guitar and I would recommend it for anybody looking for a guitar that's a little quirky, a little bit, uh, different from everything else if you want to come off the beaten path and you're looking for a guitar under $500. You know, it's got the looks, it's got the pedigree from Gretsch, it's got the playability, it's got the tone, and it's got the versatility with having the Frischman pickup built in. What more could you ask for? A case, but you're not going to get it for $449. It's just the world we live in. So that's my review. It's a great guitar. I recommend. If you want more information about this guitar or other guitars from Gretsch and other manufacturers, you can go to our website. It's alamomusic.com. You can check out the specs there. You can compare. You can chat with a live associate there on the website. Or if you prefer, you can call, uh, come in, email. They'll even text you. Whatever you need, including sending you photos of what we have in stock or even playing a little ditty for you so you hear what the guitar sounds like if you can't be here in person. They're there to help you find the guitar to meet your needs. Because at the end of the day, the best guitar in the world is the one that you're playing. If it's a quirky, uh, triangular, sound hole-shaped dreadnought uh, from Gretsch, all the better. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and keep coming back for more. I will see you next time.